right, so let's go ahead and enter the game. This may go on into a little bit of time, but there's really not much more I'm going to be doing today. And we're in Delta servers for some reason. Hey, people. Why don't you go talk to everyone? Because I don't want to. What do you say? Why don't you go... Oh, fine, Orca, whatever. Mistral haggled me down. There's no way I can win against a housewife. Pretty true. What do you have to say for yourself, Mistral? If, there we go. If you complete the item list, I heard there may or may not be a bonus. Wow, that's a definitive I answer. I wonder if anyone has completed it. Oh, he's crying. Sorry. I really do wonder if anyone's really completed it. It's such a bitch. I've only ever gotten about halfway. Elk. I created the Aromatic Grass Society. You want to join? You know, I wouldn't be against that. Thalma. The system is gradually being restored. All we need now is just people coming back to play. Yay. This, remember, the world itself is extremely important to Balma. Kazu is late coming home. He's got to be accessing from somewhere. <laughs> and yes, you probably can just see him walking around in town. And he's required for uh, completing one of the Ryu books. You're late. <laughs> You're the one that told me to talk to everyone, you jerk. I can only play an hour a day now. Give me a break. Loser. Sorry. Smiley. Oh, well. Anyway, there was this email from Aura. Let's go to Delta. Bursting past over Aqua Fields. Field duh. You said field z. You were wrong. I believe everyone is, um, busy, maybe. Oh, I whoa. You're not. Well, no. Fair. Sorry, but no. Uh, just Orca. That's weird. I thought they would have been uh, okay. off limits for now. Sorry, I'm totally not here. Don't look at me. Later. Bye bye. Press X to do the attack. To the dungeon. Press X to attack. <laughs> Press triangle to open the menu. Oh. I remember the first time we came here. Of course you guys do. Probably do too. That was back when my uh, recording setup was horrible. And I was not being myself. Not even being my not self for recording personality self. Self. Whatever. And these chests are still here. Yeah, this is also, if you really want to get your uh, chest number up, because if you were not taking chests, that's a good way of doing it. Alright, um... Let's head on. I know this dungeon by heart, because this is a good place to p fill up your dungeon, your got statue, I think got statue, or no, 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 your, um, uh, clear, all monsters defeated uh, requirement in your Ryu book, because there's maybe three portals. It's not very hard. Speaking of, actually, good thing to note is, uh, uh Orca is still level, uh, 50 here. Everything he has is exactly the same. Wow, you have a sucky-ass weapon compared to everything else you've got on. It's exactly the same as before. It's just now we can actually talk to him. You got used to the game yet? Unfortunately, so is his uh, talking text, which is really ridiculous when you think about it now, considering we are, yes, very used to the game, since, I don't know, we freaking beat the dang thing, we've killed Morgana! My voice is weird! Don't worry, I got your back. Oh, thank you. Don't worry. No, something else. Don't something else. Don't is that really all he has to say? Don't don't oh, wow. They really didn't spend time on Orca, that's sad. Usually they have one or two things to say. Yeah. I'm having really bad flashbacks. Hey Aura, do I have to stab you again? The power it holds can bring forth either salvation or destruction at the whim of the user. 
You know what this means, don't you? We've got the bracelet back. If you remember during Aura. the credits, the bracelet was being reformed. Now, I actually have a theory. I don't know if I've actually stayed this yet, and I'm pretty sure I haven't on camera. Footage, whatever. But my theory as to what um, really the phases were about kind of stems from a rather non -ca Hey, look, by the way, here's Bear. And something I kind of forgot to note is there's a lot of really good stuff you can get by trading with your party members and with uh, random people on the street now, especially the important peoples. But yeah, the way... There's a uncannon... Uh, Non-canonical -canon non 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 um, files that were or, uh, information on the Luminati, Luminati, Luminous, Luminous DVDs that kind of stated that the different phases were supposed to collect data for creating Aura. And I actually believe this because it kind of makes sense based upon the um, uh, Epitaph of Twilight that really just to me seems like what, what you would get. Um, while I'm talking, I'm going to go ahead and go to a, uh, Sigma server here. Because I want to show you what Sigma looks like while it's clean. It's so beautiful. Um, the reason that I also state this is well, if on only the um, effect that happens once we defeated you know, Corbinic was it was required to give for um, Aura to be reborn through self-sacrifice for her to become complete. And that, is, and that part is actually canon. Harold himself programmed the AI system to have to do that in order to become a complete AI and recognized as a perfect AI, it would have to do this. And it was kind of designed that only Aura would, only be, would be the only one that could actually do this perfectly. Which again is why um, back in Sign, Morgana was trying to corrupt Aura so that she wouldn't have self-sacrifice and never do something like that by linking her to Tsukasa with all his negative, selfish thoughts. Now, uh, what I really wanted to do this is, if you remember, K Kubia has been stated time and time again to be the anti-existence of the bracelet, saying that once the bracelet was created, Kubia was created. I don't quite believe this. My theory on Kubia is that he was create he is essentially a counter system. Something that is dangerous, extremely dangerous to the system that can directly affect the system. So the counter system is created through Kubia, the shadowed one. Because it's the a counter system, it's designed to try to eventually link up with the uh, a opposing program and be able to um, essentially do direct contact with it, directly either erase it and then automatically be erased by itself because it no longer needs to exist, or destroy itself and thus cause kind of a chain reaction, or get, or if it was destroyed I should say, it would then cause a chain reaction and destroy whatever it was linked to. Because Aura herself made this bracelet while she is officially the the presiding AI of the world, it's not going to trigger the, trigger the Kubia response. Because of this, well, we've got a pretty... It's... Yeah. We now have the bracelet with no strings attached, I should say. Which is pretty kick-ass. Um, whereas when she originally created the bracelet, the Book of the Twilight, it was out of, uh, it, she was not officially the AI of the world. She created something that should only have been in Morgana's power to do, to bestow. But she created it and gave it to a character, which is something that's not supposed to be able to happen. She kind of cheated. She broke the rules, and that's why Kubia showed up. That is my theory. 
and that is what I stick with. There, I, I'm open to adjusting it or whatnot. I don't care if the official, official from CC Corp themselves says Kubia was always this and this. I still believe my theory, even if I'm wrong. And if you try and argue with me, I don't care. I'll admit that you may have a point, but I don't care. So, with that bit of annoying and self, uh, uh, self-justifying uh, statement, I'm going to go ahead and end this here, and I will see you guys next time when we see what that email is that we just got. I'll see you guys then. Later.